Introducing our partner for tonight All the way from the Pearl of the Orient It's Pinwheel Events We are back, and this time with Miss Stephanie, all the way from Pinwheel Events. Hi, hi guys. Hello, Daphne. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> okay, Daphne, what's up, the loco? <laughs> How have you been? How are you? <laughs> uh, how has COVID-19 been treating you? <laughs> what have you been doing at home? Have you learned any new skills? Uh-huh. Yeah, everybody learning how to cook, learning how to cut hair. My wife, was, oh, uh, my wife now become hairdresser. That's why, because we got good wives. Yeah, <laughs> thanks to the missus. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, all right. You guys, of course, want to know more about pinwheel events. So, Daphne, tell us more about pinwheel events. And um, <laughs> yeah, it started as a children's party designing service. And through the years, we started to get a lot of requests to do corporate, to do um, weddings, you know, more adult stuff. So last year, we decided to um, create a new brand, which is Pinwheel Events, to deal with all these uh, adult events. So Party Boo is for children. Correct. Pinwheel Events is for more adult events. Correct. That's oh, right. That's I see. right. Yes. So, Daphne, there are hundreds of events companies in Penang itself, you know. Actually, hundreds. actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's 250 events companies. Oh, wow. Seriously, it's yeah, 250 one, events. 200. Yeah, we are yeah. just like, you know, yeah. like, kuch, 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 yeah. a bit, bit, no, ne? Yeah. So, so, what do you think makes Pinwheel Events stand out, special? I think our, we try to differentiate ourselves um, by really focusing on theme events or theme weddings. So team as in together one team or what? No, team, oh, team. as in team. Team. Yeah, team. Yeah. All right, 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 right. Team. Yes, yes. Team. Okay. So like you know, uh, a lot of uh, corporate events, for example, will have um, themes like you know Hawaiian night mm, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Hollywood Oscar night, Oscar night yeah, you know yeah. that kind of thing. So pinwheel events will really um, immerse ourselves in the theme when we do the decor. That right down to the smallest details. Okay. Yeah, we are very... Um, into the details. Into the details. Oh, right. So that the guests really get a full experience of the theme. Ah. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, i give you an example. Like, hmm. when we did a wedding for a couple who were big Star Wars fans. 
Wow. Confirm yeah. is the groom lah. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Confirm the groom. The wife had no choice but to go along. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So we we decorated the whole place. You know, uh, all Star Wars theme. Star Wars. Star Wars wow. theme. You know the mm. and it was really great because even the page boy was a little stormtrooper. The parents, you know, of the bride or groom, you know, came as as uh, I think Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you know all the. Um, they are Chi Mui and huh. Hing Tai. It's all Chi all Mui Hing Tai. Yes. All, all the Xiao Kia. All, all, yes. All had Xiao Kia. Correct, correct. Oh. When they <laughs> went in, you know, they all had the lightsabers and everything. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you know, it was really, really cool. So, that is, you know, nowadays couples are a bit more adventurous. Mm, yeah, yeah. Not like last time, yeah, traditional. Not so traditional. Not like, yeah. They want correct, something different. Very true. So, it's the same with corporate events as well. Um, like, you know, a few years back, we did a Kampong theme um, family day. For one of the uh, factories in, in Penang. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. yeah, yeah. we were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I remember that one. You remember that one? Yeah, we were all dressed up in like yeah. sarongs. You yeah, know, so our whole sarong. team, even our team, you know, dresses up to to suit the theme. And um, yeah, we did actually created a whole Chai Tiama, Kedai Runjit, the old school type. Um, to to you know, yeah, as complete with din dang. Correct, it was complete with uh, din dang. Yeah, Perchuma. all the old school candies, the old school biscuits, yeah. snacks, you know, all that kind. Very of hard thing. to find those, really, yeah. It actually took us a really, really, yeah, really yeah. long time That's to source right. for everything, down to the, you know, um, the razors we used to use in school. Yeah, Remember, got yeah, ABC, yeah. Correct, on correct. It, that and kind of thing. And the folding scissors, you <laughs> know. Correct, uh -huh. the folding scissors, the the cut. Remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So we had to source for all of that, you know, and then so the minute the guests entered, that is what they saw straight away. They are in brought back. Yeah, you, you brought know? the kampung to yes, them. Yes, correct, correct. Ah. And you know, even things like uh, photo walls, um, a lot of event companies will just do uh, you know a rectangle sort of photo wall, whereas for us, we will actually do three D, meaning that. Like for the kampong team, we actually created like a um, kampong house and then, you know, uh, rocking chair, even the baskets, things, you know, the guni and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so The that, old bicycle. Yeah, that uh, is what Pinwheel Events specializes in. Right. Yeah. So in so many events that you have done, which one is the most memorable events uh, for you? Okay. The most memorable would be for a company called Bosat and they are actually in the mainland. So we did their family day twice. Um, both times were amazing. Why? Because the s their employees are so cooperative. All of them actually dress up to suit the theme. So like the first time we did, which was a Disney theme, every everybody dressed up yes, as Disney characters, and not a single repeat. Wow! So it was amazing. You know, whole families, you know, like one family would come as Toy Story characters, another team came as Seven Dwarfs, the, some people in the higher management came as um, Maleficent, you know, Evil Queen, some came as uh, Peter Pan, right. that kind of thing. Yeah, so you see, they, they then make the event more interesting. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the participation Correct. of all yes. the stars yes, yes. that makes the whole experience, the whole right. event Correct. Correct. memorable. Correct, right? Correct. Yeah. because our decor, our entertainment Can will only, only go yeah. so far. You know, but if everybody dresses, I mean, you imagine lah, an, an event, if you imagine there is a... Three fullest dress up. Yeah, Hawaiian night. <laughs> and everybody comes in, you know, polo polo tee and, and jeans. And that <laughs> happens. That happens a yeah, lot. Yeah, that happens yeah. a lot. That's the yeah. thing, you see. Yeah. So when you get such a cooperative um, company, and that Correct. is the culture, la, you know, culture of the company is amazing. Then, you know, it really makes the, the event so much more special. Good leadership, mm. la, actually. Correct. Happening. Mm. Correct, mm. correct, correct. That's right. Okay, from the memorable event... Mm. I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> the other extreme. <laughs> yeah, the other side of the coin. Okay, uh, can you share with us the other uh, side of the your coin. experience with some tough customers? Ah, uh, million dollar question. <laughs> Actually, we uh, all we all do, but <laughs> I think you know, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll be very very politically correct and say that you know I'm very thankful I haven't had a lot of tough clients <laughs> So I've been lucky in that sense. I think. Generally, people are quite professional and quite nice. I would say that we face tough situations rather than tough clients. Uh. And the tough situation would be, I think, something that's faced by every um, company or every business in Penang. And because Penangites are well known to be... Kiam siap. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Right? Yamsiap is kuda kul lah. <laughs> In Hokkien, right? it's kuda kul. <laughs> yes, yes. In Mandarin, it's called what? Yamsiap. Uh, I don't know lah. We all bananas, that's why. So, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually put in the comment section lah, what is yeah. uh, Kiam Siap lah. Huh? Yes. Mm. So, yeah, that is the, um, I think the tough part because when our decor goes into so much details, you know, to follow the theme and all that, then obviously it costs more money lah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You know, so a lot of companies or a lot of clients may not understand that because they think that we are just a run of the mill usual yeah, company. Yeah, I think they are usually more worried about the budget correct. than anything else, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, so, you know, we want to give them an experience but how they value that experience, you know, maybe it's differ from way, yeah. yeah, it differs from from mm. person to person. You yeah. can't really put a price tag. You on can't, it, right? yeah. you can't, because everything is designed from scratch at Pinwheel Events, um, and all of them, all of it is designed by my partner Joan, who is the mastermind behind all the fabulous designs wow, that you see. Wow, good, yeah. good job, Joan. Good job. Good job. Yeah. So you know, it's all her hard work, all her. You know, a lot of brain juice, you know, goes from, into... From scratch, huh? From scratch, yeah. yes. Right, the brain juice, not joy juice. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that is the, the tough part, like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, budget, budget. <laughs> huh? Right, do you guys do weddings? Uh? Yes, 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 we do weddings, we do um, engagements, uh, proposals. Yeah, we've done quite a number of uh, marriage proposals, some very romantic guys out there. You know, oh, are you guys married already? No, my All right. Yeah. So, you have any advice uh, for future uh, wedding couples? Wedding couples, okay. Couples my who are getting married. Okay. You know, um, Mostly young ones. La. Hey, who said I got married quite well? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my advice would be know your budget, even if it's a rough figure. I thought you were going to say know your partner. If you don't know your partner, definitely is is a um, you know the big D is gonna happen, right? Yeah. Well, that one sometimes you don't know one. Like married ten years, twenty years, you don't know. After then, only the true yeah, colors. Yeah, that's right. Out. So yeah, know your budget because if you don't have a budget, you're gonna end up either overspending, you know, and and bankrupting yourself like, over Correct. a wedding and not getting what you want. Correct, the end, yeah? and or you will end up being very disappointed. Because you, for example, you may have, uh, let's say, a 10,000 budget, but you are expecting something that's 30,000. is not going to happen, you know? That happens. <laughs> that happens. It's serious. Clients always want that, yes, right? Yes, yeah. yes, That's a problem. So, you know, you have to be realistic. Squeeze you. Correct. And because you have so many things to budget for, you know, your food, your entertainment, the decor, your, your baju, you know, your gowns and, and tuxedos or whatever, you know. So you, you need to know for each one how much more or less you're, you're willing to spend. To spend. Yes, you're true, willing to very spend true, yeah. Before you go to the next level. Yeah, to, mm. the, to the event planner or the uh, decorator, you know, you need mm. to know. Yeah. But in like weddings, it's basically it's like, a, like a business, you see. Mm. If you treat it like a business, you will you will t earn back lah. Ang pao here, ang pao there. <laughs> yeah, that means you must True invest to get bigger ang pao. That's why you have to invest first. There is like part of business, right? You have to I'll, invest I'll start before you get. I'm teaching my clients <laughs> that. So you can actually tell them, it's like, okay, guys, you need to invest like fifty k, you to earn another hundred k. Is it? That's right. Yeah. Okay, Daphne, how mm. how has COVID nineteen affected pinwheel events? COVID-19. COVID-19. Yes. Uh, With all the oh lockdown, gosh. MCO well, and all that. Well, I think, um, yeah, it's affected us, of course, almost pretty much 100%. I because, think it affected everybody. Yeah, yeah. because um, ours has, you know, events and parties and all that has come to a standstill. Right. Mm. Okay, keep going. Yeah, 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 keep going. Keep going. Yes, yeah. it's all right. All right. Do I keep going? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it has pretty much uh, come to a standstill. So, um, yeah, it, it is, it is uh, we don't know when it will recover, when we will start being able, I mean, being able to start having ev events, again, you know, yeah. again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's been tough. It's been tough. So, tell, tell us, uh, Daphne, what is the next step for pinwheel events? Okay. The Future next plans. Step. Well, I think you... A lot of businesses, not only you know events, a lot of businesses will have to think out of the box, have to be creative in in the future, correct you know all the things that you do have to be creative because you know uh, this is a new normal uh, so called yeah so 
like the other day, I actually saw a, wed a video of a wedding in Thailand. And what they did oh, was, wow. yeah, they in had Thailand. The, in Thailand, yes. Same thing, like, you know, they were going through the same, almost the same Lockdown. thing. Lockdown, the process. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they had the bride and groom there, you know, like on the stage and all that. And they had their guests coming to give them their blessings or well wishes and all that. And after that, they got to take home, the guests uh, got to take home um, tipping carriers. Tipping carriers. Yeah, Ta -pao. instead of fisting there. <laughs> yes. You see, the new concept is basically, <laughs> you go to a wedding, right? Okay, Jack, I give you one umpire, you uh. give me one, like, one, <laughs> one tipping <laughs> carrier. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, oh, because, they did that, huh? yeah, because they're not allowed to eat there, man. Yeah. You know, they're not allowed to eat there. So they, so they line up one by one, one meter apart. Yeah. And then oh. everybody got a tipping carrier, Very good. Uh, good food inside to take home. Wow. Yeah, so you see, you, <laughs> you can do it, it can be done. You just have to think out of the box. Correct. Same with mm. birthdays nowadays or any celebrations. Yeah, you, parties. Yeah, you have to do it. Let's say online, you can online. do it on Zoom, Zoom parties, you know, uh, FB, live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all like, sort like, of like things. Like now, yeah, like what like we are now, doing now, yeah, is yeah. Wow. yeah, and of course, you know, even parties now, you can't go to clubs. Clubs are not open. You know, yeah. Um, even if it's open, that. you can't have entertainment. Correct. Yeah. You Correct. can't do much. So better sit at home. You know, and party at home. Party at home, yeah. and that's the latest thing that we have come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Latest. Why thing don't we you come tell with? everybody about it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So we are coming up with uh, launching Tempo tomorrow night. Tempo, Tempo tomorrow night. Yes. Tomorrow night. Part yeah, folks. One. <laughs> Part one. <laughs> Part one. Okay. Tomorrow night is basically party at home, party for charity, and um, yeah, a good way to party on Zoom, meet people, chat. You know and. Let's, uh, just in case you want to know more, check out this video. Yeah.